And next, ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned before, we will continue to our next session, which is the small group discussion. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, all materials which have been presented will be shared with you after the event. And if there are any questions that have not yet been answered, especially for those joining us online, we will, our, our committee will be answering the questions to you and answer it directly to your email. So once again, thank you for your participation. And next, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, we have the papers ready, which means we are about to begin our small group discussion. We're in this uh, group discussion, we will explore opportunities for collaboration and alignment efforts. And this will be a hybrid discussion session. Therefore, we invite everyone to all participants here on site or offline and those joining us online to join in. For those who are here at the Borobudur Hotel, we will be dividing you into four groups. As you can see, there is group number one, two, three, and four located at each corner of the room. And each group will be led by Paheru, Pa Budi, by Edwin and also Wira. Once again, it will be led by Paheru, Pak Budi. Bu oh, Mbak Budi, I apologize. Mbak Edwin and also Mas Wira. Okay, <laughs> I got that correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, please do feel free to join yourself in any group. You are all welcome to join any group you would like to wish for the four groups. And for those of you joining us online, the group will be led by Sinta and Michael. All right, so without further ado, allow me to invite a representative from the first group, which was led by Mas Heru, to please come up on stage. Silakan, to whom? Pak Umar. Thank you. Uh, so we are coming from the first group here with uh, some of the participants. So I would like to share our uh, discussion uh, material. So what uh, we're thinking about the actors uh, that need to be involved in this uh, 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 approach is, of course, the tri sectors coming from private also and public and also academ academician and uh, community. And it uh, uh, and also business, of course, and it uh, spread from national until the district and also from the Asian also. And the best way that we think that uh, can be uh, implemented is uh, we should have the assessment from the academician, and from the academician we we will have the vari uh, variable of identification that what kind of problem of the has free uh, that need to be addressed. And the other thing that we think is important is learning by doing and sensing from the uh, area. And the last thing that we think uh, is the mechanism or platform that need to be uh, uh, involved to strengthen the cross sector is the involvement or the creation of multi-stakeholders has free alliance and it is uh, need to be uh, clear first the context of why we create this multi-stakeholders uh, alliance and also we also need to uh, thinking about the blended finance stakeholders forum because this kind of the backbone why this forum need to be done and it's the reason why we are creating the multi-stakeholders because uh, we don't want to be exclusive, but it's more like inclusive participation of this multi-stakeholders. And it's not only uh, centered by the government only, but it's more like inclusivity for the, uh, uh, all the stakeholders. So that's for our discussion. Thank okay, you. thank you very much. Please give a round of applause for our first group. And next, to add on to the discussion results, the group which was led by Mbak Budi. To representative, okay, from that side, I'm sorry, please, do come up. And remember to share additional notes and not share the same points that were shared to the group before, please. Yeah. 
Um, thank you. So I'm appointed by my colleague here <laughs> to be the spokesperson, and I do hope that I can represent you guys. Uh, yeah. So the discussion is talking about key actors and best way to connect. You know, when you are uh, trying to gain uh, like a result, good result. So we are talking about communication process. When you're talking about communication process, you're talking about a lot of elements from the communicators when you are advising or conveying the message, and you're talking about the message itself, and you come, uh, you're talking about the channeling, you know, medium channeling, and you're talking about communicator or uh, com a communicant or receiver, and you're talking about the goals. So our group here, we are talking, we are trying to uh, observing and discussing about this process. And in our, in our opinion, you know, the actors that are very, uh, very important and significant is a university. Because they're talking about the, what you call the concept. And we are trying to know whether the concept, it works. Because how good the, uh, the regulation, if it, it is not working on the side, I think, yeah, I think it's uh, not, what you call it, it's not uh, worth it. And then, so we do need to collaborate with the university. So we get the input, we got the, the advice from them. And secondly, we also see that the government is a very, very important actors because they are the one who translate, you know, the policy into implementation, into the program. And they are the one who translate it into various stakeholders. And it is supposed to be agreed upon. So I think government is very, very crucial. And we see also the financial institution is very, very also uh, important. Why? Because we need a budget. We need, uh, you know, the financial support to do the program. And then we also, uh, what you call this, consider the local communities because they are the front lines, you know. Whatever program we have, if it is not implemented well on the side, I don't know what we can expect, you know, because we, we do need their contribution. And we do know, and we, we have to know what, they are, uh, what, uh, what is in their mind, because, because the effective of the program, it depends on them. And then we see, uh, you know, when after we see uh, several uh, actors on our group uh, thinking about, and then the effective platform that we would like to propose, first, of course, funding support, how we can raise awareness, we can uh, do a research and everything, you know, uh, to create a very, very good program. So it works. And then financial collaboration. Because if we depend on the financial institution only, I think it is a bit hard. So we need a lot of stakeholders to work on and collaborate. And then we see, you know, the collaboration uh, platform, it is not only uh, referring or it is not only focusing on the pentahelix, but I think we have to go beyond that, out of the box uh, program, out of the box idea. And it is a very important platform also when we are talking about communication process, we are talking about the communication platform. Because how good the program is, if we, can find, we cannot find a good communication platform, I think we cannot... Uh, achieve a financial, uh, we cannot achieve a maximum result. And then after that, how to answer the mechanism platform to strengthen cross-sectoral coordination on any existing or success, successful platform. I think uh, our group thinking about adaptive platform. Platform which is, it is not like, uh, you know, like rigid, but it is depend on the culture, depend on the situation, depend on the, on the targeted, on the targeted audiences. Because it, it is different. We are not living in the one, like, you know, one culture in a whole, but we are living in the various of culture, diversification. And then we also have to consider about the local wisdom and heritage education. Because we are thinking about like eco-theology, you know, how the religion influence the community, how they are thinking about the fire. Could be they are thinking about burning area. It is good because it is like, you know, for years, they did it. But if we know, you know, the eco-theology, what they believe, I think we can overcome that problem. So we have to consider that. And it is also important that we have to connect with the group of experts to give us an advice. And it is, uh, we have to do it continuously. Not only FGD, in a, uh, I mean, uh, once in a while, and then after that, stop. 
It is continuous because we have to uh, review. And then we have to uh, consider also cross-sectoral Asian platform. It is very important because we are talking not only Indonesia, but also, uh, you know, several countries. And then we have also to communicate, you know, uh, creating communication platform from the government to the frontliners. And then we need to connect, not only creating the platform, but we have to connect. So it is not about, you know, creating a regulation, creating a platform, but nothing happened. Because there uh, must be someone to make sure it works. And then we have to also, you know, keep uh, strengthening the policy into the program. So the implementation is correct. And this is the most uh, interesting from our group here. Uh, has free 2023, 20, 20, uh, 20, uh, 23, and 2030. After that, what we're going to do? And then how we implement that into yearly basis? And how we monitor? And how we quantify? So everything, there is a measurement, reporting, and verification. So everything should be quantified. And the last one, the output expected to from the group, uh, from our group. Uh, first, community program, because they are on the frontliners. So how to translate the regulation into various community program? So they are actively engaged. So it is not about like engagement, you know, with the community, but how to make them. Uh, actively engage with the program and this is uh, we have to collaborate between the government and the community and the last one the output expected is bottom-up communication sometimes you always sometimes you always focusing on the top-down communication but we never listen what the community would like to have what the community would like to say because the problem is different in every country in every provinces everything different so we have to listen more than speaking more I think this is from our group. Thank you. Thank you very much for the second group. And next, I would like to move on probably for the sharing session from the online group, which was led by Cynthia and Michael. So a representative from the online group to share the points that have been discussed. So I'll, I'll provide a summary on behalf of uh, of myself and uh, Dr. Sinta, <laughs> brand new, brand new doctor. Uh, we had four, well, two questions and uh, two sub questions for each. Uh, these and uh, we've pulled um, got reasonably good, um, good participation. But in the the first question on who are key, the key actors uh, instrumental to the roadmap implementation, uh, we had quite a balanced uh, uh, presentation. National governments, as the key actors, um, came out on top. But interestingly, uh, local communities and indigenous peoples came in second, which was good to see uh, in that fire is always a, a local issue. We had private sector come in as the third uh, key actor, um, instrumental, and and from there uh, other other uh, stakeholders. But it was but the earlier discussion on the role of private sector, the role of government was was more or less confirmed. Moving on, the second question: What are the best ways to connect with or engage with key actors? And uh, Again, the polling was quite balanced. We had uh, participation in decision-making processes coming out as the, the best way to connect with or engage with key actors. This suggests uh, some sort of involvement in policy-making, uh, policy implementation around uh, decision-making, partnerships and collaborations, Stakeholder consultations were also important ways to connect with or engage with key actors. Uh, the third or second question, actually we did uh, have some additional um, suggestions that we didn't put in our list. And these were things like social media, local university experts, and cross-vector dialogue. And our second question on the mechanisms to strengthen cross-sectoral coordination and to promote active involvement of parties, 
this was uh, quite skewed towards collaborative or multi-stakeholder platforms was by far the main mechanism to strengthen cross-sectoral coordination, which was uh, very good to see. Um, multi-stakeholder platforms is a, a strong uh, issue for uh, my organization, C4 ICRAF. Uh, so that was good to see confirmed. Training through, you know, capacity building was was the second strongest mechanism. Again, good good to see that training is recognized as being important. Uh, Interagency task force and working groups. Uh, so either private sector or public sector agency uh, coordination was quite is, was quite was acknowledged as, as being important a bit of a surprise uh, utilizing technology for communication was really towards the bottom of uh, mechanisms for strength you know to be strengthened and this suggests to us that that perhaps uh, people are, are quite comfortable now utilizing technology and it's seen as a, uh, a standard, almost routine activity. Okay, moving along. Um, the last question on exist, identifying existing platforms that have been particularly successful for cross-sectoral coordination. Uh, we got quite a, a, a large number of responses of specific Organi uh, platforms, uh, everything from some international platforms, Canada's model forest network platform being one, um, the private sector uh, associations and certification bodies such as RSPO, uh, consultants, uh, NGOs, social media, uh, government organizations uh, related to monitoring um, some of the recognized forums for example global landscape forum uh, facebook uh, so so quite a variety of of existing platforms which suggests to us that that you know that participants are quite quite knowledgeable about existing platforms uh, which is which is very good to see on fire and haze issues um, and that summarizes our session. So thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Michael, and also Sienta for sharing with us and for leading the discussion. And next, we will continue to our third, to our fourth group, which is which was led by Ba Edwin. Which group was led by Ba Edwin? Okay. Yes. So please, without further ado, do share with us additional points from the discussion. Hello? Yes. Yes, yes. Um, I'm from the OBS of Group 3 member, and I would like to present about our aspiration, including many points. These are the key point, key actor and best way to connect with the development of the, the roadmap. Uh, um, before to say, uh, I, I would like to talk about uh, the basic level, middle level, and top level. The three levels are very important to strengthen the roadmap. First is the administrative level, has the knowledge and best practice to connect uh, with the uh, people around the countries. And the second level is the Regional level, regional, regional and state level government provide with need assistance, including power sharing, relevant with uh, other factors, including strengthening the policy development and his problem. And then the third level is the national level. We, we can say the national government must have to link with the state and regional government uh, by 
laid down framework regulation policy law enforcement to control all the problem facing with his so this this points are the very important i think that the first the first one is the uh, head department can also uh, contain and announce the public to the air quality level for uh, for example air quality level and then the second point is the uh, research level is also important i think that to research the uh, the air quality for example air quality uh, and then uh, ASEAN members ASEAN state level are uh, also all country including the 10 countries are the make doing the same chance to to face with the problem and then uh, the uh, the public public fox a regional government can also contain and um, private sector are also the uh, key actor and community development to communicate with uh, person from from one to another yes and then uh, villagers from basic level villagers are also important to uh, also important and local leader they have the knowledge of the air quality and crop, crop residual planning, so and uh, energy and emergency medication. If the problem has faced, we know to respond, active respond and emergency to mitigate the disaster. If the, there is a <coughs> do the, is the disaster risk uh, management are also important and uh, social media. Uh, to uh, announce the public are also important and uh, the monitoring the air quality uh, from uh, throughout the country to know the people what's the quality of uh, air is good or bad or moderate so etc so and the uh, uh, training to the uh, the feed owners of land to not to not to ban or reduce penny uh, of for crop residues this is uh, also important. And then I would like to move to another question. Uh, to develop uh, the mechanism and platform to strengthen cross sector coordination and uh, any, existing, any existing successful platform, uh, that these are the many points uh, to connect the internet at, and with one another and seminar and webinar to talk to talk about the feta and focus group discussion with one another to discuss with uh, to to cut the and the and education awareness are also uh, important public who uh, had impacts and his uh, his practice, his and sustainable behavior changes and find a public forgive who concerned on environment and rise all the uh, forget media dance to get more attention especially from um, from gen gen generally millennia so so and then awareness from newspaper and radios to announce are also important and Policy development to implementation, education, and uh, connect with government uh, authority and sharing to private sector, uh, including public-private partnerships. So and fund fund funders funders star uh, for uh, for conservation uh, to get a better allocation for fund funding is also important and data, data center information uh, to, uh, to announce the qualities of air. And hotline, hotline center, call center uh, to promote the uh, qualities, to, to promote the platform. And public, public center, uh, CSR, corporate social responsibility are also uh, important. Uh, these are the, the point that we idea our sharing idea from our 
uh, group three. All right, thank you yes. very much. Okay, now moving on to our last group, which was led by Maswira. So without further ado, please, to the representative. Thank you. I would like, I have the honor to introduce Ms. Palis from the Ministry of Environment Cambodia to present on our group. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Please. Thank you, Please give her an applause. Yes, of course. Please give her an applause. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon everyone. Um, I think it is lunchtime. So just shortly. <laughs> also, I think uh, four group already that has present, so uh, almost cover all the point. Yes. Yeah, just say uh, on behalf of our group four, I just say uh, some uh, input from our group. Like uh, for before we know how to connect the actor, we need to know the key actor first. That uh, we have the government. Uh, government uh, from the national and also the local government and we also have the community that uh, we focus on the farmer and also have uh, the NGO like uh, the I uh, IFAD, JICA, uh, WF and so on. Also have the private uh, sector and the university which is very important. And um, to the way to connect it, um, we have um, like um, developed the uh, cooperation and collaboration and also develop the engagement uh, platform such as like workshop dialogue or seminar and so on um, and the the uh, interesting part is the farmer to farmer dialogue it is also the important one have um, the trust fund and also uh, this one is focused to the local community which is uh, providing the incentive to the local community uh, also building the network and sharing the experience. Um, for the mechanism and platform to sharing, um, there are uh, various a lot, but uh, I, I just uh, come up some, like uh, they have the focus group, group discussion, also establish the working group, and uh, we also have uh, like the um, the research collaboration and also um, the investment organization and have uh, also uh, the social media is also important to sharing uh, and also the mechanism to um, like to connect it uh, the, uh, between oh, among the uh, cross sectoral and also have uh, the data sharing and um, also have um, uh, create the association between uh, the government and private sector and uh, mechanism for action. This one um, um, also focus on the group discussion, of uh, group discussion and so on. And uh, thematic working group, yeah, as I said before, they established the working group. And for the um, existing uh, successful platform, we have like the uh, field visit or exchange study that uh, is, is connected with the, uh, the local people and also sharing uh, among the stakeholders. And also, uh, some people they raise about the uh, CPEC and uh, Sipongi that I, I think uh, most of uh, people here are know about this uh, application, which is the platform uh, for uh, sharing the information. So I think that's all for our uh, group. Thank you. Thank you very much. Once again, give a round of applause for everyone here, for all five groups.